Shalom. All praises to the Most High. Yoho, Yoho, Shua. This is Sounds from YYBY. I'm going to show y'all something simple on here, right? So this new feature they got. Um, This is my sample. I'll play the sample back. So now, if you want to see the, the chords of this sample, you can either just right click and press detect chords, or you can just get the audio file, drag it up to the top right here, and you can see all the chords right here. You know, you can see all the chords. We all know that. And also, you can change it to the whatever color you want. Normally, I change the first chord. You no, know, that's the first chord, main chord. Um, you can double click and see the chord right here. And, and then once you see the chord right here, well, that's an F uh, sharp minor. So you go down here at the key, or you can plot key. You know, hold on, get it right. Is my option working? Um, well, you can go down here and select F minor. So the whole song be set to that main key. All right, but that's not what we're here to talk about. So now I got this. I want to, again, I want to build my song around this sample. So what I did, I just dragged the VSC instrument in, which is an organ, you know, just anything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this up here. I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to grab it, drag it down here. Now you got the chords right here. So let's play this back. So I'm going to mute this track, and let's play these. Turn it down some. So now let's play these together. So now we got that. Let's show it again. Let's go grab something else. Let's go grab a uh let's grab a flute. I'm gonna go to Chinese flute. I don't know what I'm grabbing. Just grab that right quick. Tweak it up. Boom. So now we could just grab this and drop this down here. No matter of fact, I control Z that. And I'll hold alt and drop it down. If you want to play, if you want them to play the same notes, but normally what I probably do with this flute is press shift, press shift and arrow up, go to a higher. Yeah, so we go to a higher note like that, and let's. Move this to the side to the left on the speaker. Bring the volume down a little bit. So how that go. You know, that's not the flute we really looking for. But what you can really do, you can go get a pigeator. Add a PGA on it to put some movement to it. I don't know, I'm gonna just grab anything for right now. Hey, right, so now since we got that vibe to it, let's see how this flow with it. I 
I've been doing this, man. Not to be cocky, but I've been doing this for 21 years, man. I'm not these young boys. You know, a lot of them get on my page and say crazy stuff. Well, you should do it like this and do it like that. Listen, bro. I I I test every doll that is. I mean, I literally test dolls and see what's what's the pros and cons with each one of them, you know, and see so I can give the information to Jews to y'all out here before I get it. Like I say, you want to see what you're dealing with before you go spend your money, even though you can get a demo, but the demo don't always provide everything that you're looking for. So you have to buy the original copy to to use it to know what you're getting, man. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get a bass, I'm gonna go find a bass loop. Let's go find a bass loop. Let's go to RB. Let's go to basses. Uh electronic. Let's see what bass line they got. Oh, that's too loud. Let's turn that down some. Okay, so you got that short bass line right there, right? So let's see how we can do this. Because since that bass line is short, what I would, what I would probably do... Um, it's like I would stress this to five. Only way you know you test it out. Matter of fact, let me go back. Let me make sure this is on you know, one of these options right here instead of drums. Let's go to solo. And I'm going to stress this to five. So let's play it. It might don't sound right right now because first we want to see it, how it play for us stretching it. Hold on, let me see. Man. Okay, why well, it's not playing it, man? What's up? Yeah, I think this version it got some bugs. This is the new version. It got some bugs in it. Cause I um a couple few things freezing up already. Yeah, just like right now, like why it's not playing this solo. It ain't playing right now. Um, let's go to let, let's convert this back. Okay, so it's playing now, as we see. All right, so matter of fact, what I normally would do, I would press O and I'll press Control B and I'll, I'll make that into mono. Make that bass line into mono. Let's stretch it now. All right, so let's play that back. Now it's not playing when you play it back. That's weird. So we're stopping to play it back. That's weird. God damn, Studio One. I always sound when y'all y'all give us some good stuff, but then it'd be a bug with every damn thing it is, man. The hell. I actually had a bug with the sound variations for like two updates. I couldn't even use it, man. Like for real. I thought I was really tripping. And I didn't know what I was doing, but the whole time it was a damn bug. So I'm gonna go back. Okay, so a matter of fact, you know what? Time stretch. All right, no, I'm gonna just put it on the drums, man, because maybe it's that. I don't know. It shouldn't be on that, but anyway, let's play it back. Let's play it now. Let's play it back. Play it back.
That actually, that bass line actually sound good. All right, so now let's detect that bass line. We're going to see what the notes is. It's an F sharp and a B, right? As you can see right here, if you click on a, if you open up the, uh, the edit, you can actually see it down here. You can double click on it and you can see it inside the, the core selector. You know, you want to see it bigger. And then you can change, well, you can change these notes yourself. Just like automatically like that. Now, but what I'm going to do, since this is what I'm building my music around up here, these chords, which is this sample right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to, um, uh, I'm going to go to, uh, see, this got to be selected follow, right? It's follow that. It's different ways you can go to it, man. You can go to audio and uh, you can press apply chords from chord track. But even if you apply chords from chord track, if you don't see an icon at the bottom down here, a no icon, it still won't play the notes of this up here. So, for example, I got this in short up here. I apply chords from chord track. So, watch this. I'm going to go right here, press apply chords. It's going to apply it, right? Because one guy told me you got to apply it right here and then to play it. No, it won't. Once you apply it right here, you see it's no icon. Let's play that bass line back. It's going to play the same notes. See, playing the same, the bass line playing the same, even though that sound good, but it's playing the same. Let's press Control Z. I'm going to bring that back to the original notes of this bass line, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the left corner over here, right? I'm going to go to Follow Chords Option, which you got these options right here. Tune, I'm going to go to Bass. You know, the closest thing is a bass guitar. What the fuck going on, man? All right, so I'm going to go to bass guitar because that's the best tune close, closer to it. Now, again, let me make this bigger for those who want to come in on here. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I have to send that shot out a few times. So when I change this up here, pay attention what, what what will pop up right here. Sometimes it might pop up on all of them. Sometimes the note only pop up on one of them. So let's go to parallel. So you see the note? Okay, let's play the CI sound. That sound pretty good right there. He's gonna go right here with it. And so now let's try narrow. Now if the icon stay right there, that means narrow will work. All right, let's try bass, which would probably be the best one. See, they got more move to it with the notes right here. It's just that simple. Just like that. That's it. This is YYBY. Peace.